All right, so what we're talking about today is the AdMix platform. So AdMix is a ad network that allows you to monetize both mobile games as well as desktop games. And you can place in-game banner ads. You can either have them as, you know, like billboards or like neon, uh, like lit up signs on your, uh, your buildings on the streets. So, um really good form of advertising and I'm working on a Unreal Engine game right now there's plugins for both Unity as well as Unreal Engine um, I don't think they have 4.25 yet but I'm using 4.24 so it wasn't an issue I just installed the 4.24 plugin yesterday so my project is Cyber Sniper it's um, kinda like a cyberpunk themed Blade Runner esque art style um, and it's a it's a deathmatch sniping focused uh, video game. It's a third person shooter. It's it's mostly going to be it's going to be the most fun obviously with multiplayer, but you can also play it with bots on a single player as well. I'm just going to show you guys the project really quick here. And um, while it loads, where I'm going to be releasing this is on itch.io. I'm going to make it a free game. Um, does, I think itch.io is probably the best uh, indie developer community online. So I'm going to put it on there and just monetize it solely through AdMix ads is my intention. Because uh, I was reading on their Discord a little bit. I was reading on their website. It sounds like you can add as many banners as you'd like. I mean, I'm going to probably add like 10 or 15 probably something like that and then they said you can use both um, from what I read on discord at least desktop or mobile so this will be a, a desktop only game it's a little bit too demanding unfortunately for um, for anything else other than just a PC but like I said it's gonna be a lot of sniping window to window and everything um, you can go inside most of the buildings in the the center of the map. Now I'll show you guys a little bit about ad placement and style intentions that I have here. See all these center buildings you can go and enter. They have fully interactive interiors you can go to every floor every room and all the center buildings like the uh, hotel for example you can go in every hotel room find sniping spots same thing you can go inside the art gallery every floor um, but yeah the outside all these buildings are interactive but the outside buildings are just background buildings. You can't go inside all the background ones. So the background ones have all these fake signs. These are just art style signs that I added for the cyberpunk look. So I'm not going to put any AdMix banners or signs back here with the, the fake ones, you know, for art style on just the background buildings. I'm going to put the AdMix signs where all the action is because the players are going to be obviously inside of the... Uh, the buildings finding sniping spots it's like a camping game so we're gonna have signs by the entrance stores like here's the shipping warehouse maybe by the roll-up gates where you enter out here by the blue gates maybe put some signs there over here you can go inside this big office building right by the doors where you enter I'm gonna probably put some signs there for example um, that way they're they're visible and separate from the art style signs. And we put some signs beside the library door as well. Um, I'm going to show you guys how this works. So here you can see we have a shipping warehouse. on the outside of the shipping warehouse you enter here with the blue roll-up gate uh, doors there 
So let's add a sign here, but what we're going to do is we want the sign to be nice and lit up. So what we want to do is you can get a light source. I made a bunch of little simple like super low polygon um, little light meshes here um, different shapes different colors you know for for different uses so what you could do is um, for example you guys can see this the the shipping warehouse has blue uh, roll up doors it has some blue lights out front on the inside it has some blue lights throughout uh, so you want to if you want to stick with the theme here I use the blue rectangle lights this time we can use a blue square shaped light Now you can see the white brick wall here is getting nice and lit up, so it'll be nice and illuminated for your uh, your admix sign here. Alright, anyway, what you would do is you would just go into your Admix plugin and then just choose what you would want. So we're at the edge of the building, so we want to do a, an up and down vertical one, not a longer across horizontal since we're at the very edge of that building. Um, so let's go ahead and get a tall vertical banner here. You know, that one's just a little bit too tall. We get a little bit smaller of one. All right, this one's a more appropriate sized one for this wall. So you just want to fix your rotation here. So then you'd have it at ground level. Pretty much where the players will see it. It's nice and visible as they're walking through this gate to go inside. They're going to see this. So that's how I really plan them. And All right. So I have a lot of ads from Admix. So I just added to my sniping deathmatch level um, a total of 16 ads and I selected each category. I made it nice and, and varied so there's some variety there. Um, so let me show you how some of these look in game here. I'm in sandbox testing mode. So here's the casino and alongside the casino wall on the outside there's the ATMs. I threw a uh, ad mix ad here. The square shaped one. It's a 6-5 ratio and threw the light there to illuminate it. I threw another light here to illuminate the other sign. I guess the test ad is uh, Coke. And then we have, so there's some on the casino. Over here, you guys see the shopping mall building. By the doors that you enter them all before you walk inside, you see on the wall here, added a little light to illuminate, just a little light source to illuminate one of the wider stretched ads. Um, and over here I threw two lights, one on each side to light up this. I have another Admix uh, banner here. 
over here there's an office for rent and on the outside of that aside when you go to get your ammo here I put another admix uh, sign there there's lit up and then here's the shipping warehouse building here's the blue roll-up door and before you enter I put another square uh, blue light here to light up that admix sign so that's just the general feel for how the the signs are going to look in the game and everything um, but yeah that's that's currently my progress with setting up ads I, I think it's a good amount having 17 and just having them spread out so each building gets you know just like one or two that way it's not an overkill amount of ads um, I just wanted to keep that within reason but yeah that's, that's currently where I'm at 